What up guys, it's Jake and Joe here. We're gonna go through our top 10 tips for beginner bowlers. Tip number one, use your toes. One of the most common mistakes we see at the climbing wall is people not using their toes, but instead they use their midsole. This will restrict your movement. It will also give you less traction on the hold. So if Joe was to turn it to the toe, he can pivot. Ooh, look at that pivot. It will also allow you to reach further, so you can go right up onto your tiptoes. Climbing shoes are designed specifically so that you can stand on small holds like this. If you tried to stand on that hold on the midsole, you'd slip straight off. Wouldn't be possible. Tip number two, use your legs. They are some of the biggest muscles in our body. It's not all about pulling and climbing. Sometimes you've got to push with those legs, okay? So climbing, we want to try and be as efficient as we can. Particularly on a slab wall, we're going to try and use our legs because they can really push us up this wall. So when I'm climbing here, I'm going to bring my weight over and really push up with my leg. I'm not just pulling up with my arm like this, okay? We're not dragging ourselves up the wall. It's also really important on the overhang that we use our legs to push us towards these holds. We can use a combination of push from the legs and a bit of momentum to swing ourselves towards the next hold. Number three, climb with straight arms. And this ties in quite nicely with tip number two. Climbing with bent arms will cause you to fatigue quicker. If you climb with straight arms, it allows you to relax and you can sort of hang on your skeleton. A good example of this is uh, if you go to the supermarket and you're carrying your shopping bags home, how do you carry the shopping bags? Straight arms or bent arms? That's right, straight arms. Because if you, if you carry with bent arms, you're gonna be so tired by the time you get home. Tip numero quattro, read your route. There's no point finding the start holds, jumping on, and just trying to work out along the way. You're gonna waste energy, you're probably gonna get your hands wrong, which means you're probably not gonna get the top. Take some time before you start climbing, have a look where your route goes, try and work out what hand is gonna to go to what hold before you jump on the wall. It's gonna make it a lot easier and you're gonna get more sense. Tip number five, don't use too much chalk. This goes for loose and liquid chalk. If you use too much, it can actually have a detrimental effect on the traction you have on the holds. This is especially important for liquid chalk. If you use too much, it's gonna to take too long to dry and you might end up climbing with wet hands. So for loose chalk, if you use too much, it's effectively like climbing on dust. Imagine sliding off slopers with tiny little marbles below your palms. Less traction. Tip number six, don't be afraid to fail. Part of this, falling is a good thing. Okay guys, if you're falling, it means you're trying hard and it means that you're gonna become a better climber. If you're not very good at something, you should work on it, work your weaknesses. If you can't hold onto a sloper, work on a sloper. If you fall off, that's fine. It means you're learning how to get better as a climber. If you watch any one of our videos, we're falling off, okay? It's because we're trying hard, Persistence is key if you want to get them sense. Tip number seven, climb with as many different people as you can. Variety is the spice of life. Learn a lot more and you'll learn a lot faster if you climb with people that are really good at dynamic moves, really good at slab static moves, really short people, really tall people, you'll learn everything. And what's really, really important is try and climb with people that are slightly better than you sometimes because you'll learn so much. Uh, I'm usually really dynamic so it's good for me to climb with people that climb a little bit slower and a little bit more statically so I can learn the way of the static. Uh, top tip number eight. One of the most common questions we get asked is what shall I train for climbing? Our best answer, don't. If you're just starting out, just climb. That's the best way for you to get strong. If you start training too soon, you're going to end up hurting yourself, you're going to tweak a finger, you're going to pull a muscle somewhere. For now, the best thing you can do is just get on that wall and keep climbing. The best training for climbing is climbing. So, tip number nine, invest in a well-fitting pair of shoes. It's very important, if your shoes are too big, you cannot possibly progress. You won't be able to stand on anything, you won't be able to use your toe or your heel properly. If you fit them too small, you'll be in too much pain to progress. You won't even want to climb. So get them just right, make sure you get a professional to fit them for you. Finally, the most important tip of all, have fun. The best climber is the one with the biggest smile on their face. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and you. 
Go, we're tip on. Tip number nueve. No, go, go, go. Number, tip number nueve. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, you can try. Crouch. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. 